Greetings everyone, today we are going to hack, and access the Metasploitable by 5 different ways. So, I am assuming that you almost know the basics, and I think I am doing it from scratch by the way. But anyway let's get started. First you need to check if the server or system is vulnerable or not, does that system or server has ports opened or not. Because as you know, the first thing is information gathering, and then exploiting. But anyway, we are not going that much deep, I am just telling this as an information, when you do, hack the box challenges, or vuln hub challenges, then you need to do these things deeply. For now just forget about it and get back to our topic. Once you get open ports, and services that are running, and also you would find versions. So then you will do some sort of searching, or create your own script to run against it and bypass it. Anyway, we're script kitties, we will be doing it from Metasploit framework. Start the Metasploit. Now scan the IP address with nmap or zenmap to gather information about it. Here is our Metasploit framework. From here we will exploit. First we need to scan the IP to see what can we do with it. Here are all the open ports on the server or system. A few ports are interesting for us at that moment, we will be dealing that within a few moments. Now let's search our first exploit. Give it a few seconds. Now use this exploit. Show options to see what we need to do. We need to specify the target IP address and port, port is by default specified. Let's exploit and see what happens. This Metasploitable is actually a server also if you see. If you visit the IP address on browser, you will see PHP my admin, which indicates it. I am sorry because I forgot to show you that, but you can see it yourself also, better if I did, but anyway do it now. Let's see who we are on that server. As you can see, we access it as root. Let's terminate the session and try another exploit. Now simply just follow. Set the R host and leave the R port on 80, because we have seen that this port was also opened, and then exploit. You can try all these commands.
Next exploit. Another exploit. You can also try id command to confirm if you are root or not. I have another method as well, and by following that method, we would not be on the server as root, but only a user. We will access to root by doing pre-village escalation. So let's do that as well. Same procedure, use this exploit, and show the options to fill the needed things. Additionally you can also set the L host. If you didn't, no problem it will work fine, try if you don't trust, it is set by default. Same for payload, set it if you want, and no problem if you didn't. Now let's see, who we are right now. As you can see we are not root now. Now here, we will do PHP code injection. First open another terminal and do what I do. Leave this up and running.
Enter your own IP address. We've made a mistake. To be honest, I am kinda lazy, and was actually tired to try it again. That was a stupid mistake I made, I forgot the double quotation marks at the end of the IP address. Once you execute this command, you will see something interesting in your another terminal. Unfortunately I didn't. Try it, and in another terminal you will see you will have access to the server as root. Confirm it by typing who am I, or, id. I don't know if this video was helpful or not, unfortunately it was not as fair as usual, but anyway bear with me, and yeah, I will make it again if it wasn't clear so. But I hope that makes sense, and yeah, I thank you for watching.